What's going on? How y'all doing? This video is going to be about Ronald Green in Louisiana. And the video is surfacing. Two years ago, he was on the highway and he got tasered. Yeah, can you imagine that? The cops actually used taser on a, on a black person. Actually, because they never used the taser. They can't ever seem to find it. So they used the taser on him. But they repeatedly were beating him and hitting him. And they, it was recorded. Finally, yeah, it took two years for the video to finally come out. They were assaulting him. He is clearly saying, apologizing for the high-speed chase. He said he was sorry. They punched him. He bled. They said, did he have AIDS? They beaten this man subconsciously. They murdered him. They lied to the public. This here is basically George Floyd 2.0, pre-George Floyd. Another lynching in Louisiana. He called the cop's brother. He was a black man trying to be in solitary to, with the white officers. They proceed to go upside his dome repeatedly. And you wonder why I say a lot of black folks don't trust these racist cops. Because if you act like KKK, you're going to get treated like KKK. You are showing something that you think that you're superior, that that's what you do. This here, watching this video, was depressing, sad, horrific. He got lynched, and they lied. It happens everywhere in this country. You're black. These cops feel like they can use you as a piñata. I tell the rest of the world this. These cops act like they hate black people. And they feel like they justified. They have no respect for black people. So why should you have respect for them? In the sense that if they were doing their job, they'd understand. And I've said this before. I sound like a James Brown rocker, but I'm going to say it again. They work for black folks as they work for everybody. This who pays their salary. And they can't seem to get over their racist agenda. It's like it's taught inherently to do what you want because you're white. Feel that you're privileged because you're white. And this has been going on for centuries. The patrol, the slave patrol, the mindset. This agenda. And none of these whack, weak so-called presidents do anything about them. Nothing is done. Yeah, they sign a few things in law, but nothing is done. You, Because you can't eliminate the pandemic known as racism by just simply enforcing some so-called bills and rules. This country is so racist beyond that it's so ingrained that this becomes acceptable behavior. That's how bad it is in this country. Anybody watching, I ain't stuttering. America is the most racist place, got to be on earth, because it pays this agenda and it spreads. They will never find a cure for this situation. But lynching and black brat bodies, remember, it's 100 years ago black folks was used on postcards for barbecue for lynching. So this goes on. This ain't nothing new. And Louisiana has a long history of it. This guy was pleading for his life. Apologize, say sorry. You think if he was white, he'd gone through that? I don't think so. They probably, the first time he said he's sorry, they probably took him to AMPM and got him a jumbo hot dog and some pop and some chips before they take him into incarceration. You're black. They beat you up. Kill you. And then they lie about it. For anybody want to know, this is two years old. This ain't 22 years old. This ain't 12. This ain't 32 or 42. This is two year old. And the video just coming out. I wonder why. Who is policing the police in America with three K's? That's right. I said it. Because they got to prove to me. I don't have to prove nothing to them. They got to prove to me that they're not racist. Every chance 
They have to prove it to me. This is the unfortunate, sad story of Ronald Green, and I hope there is some justice in Louisiana because this is a travesty again. And we keep going over the same old thing over and over and over and over again because nobody tells the truth about the racist bullies in America that are allowed to so-called serve and protect, except if you're black. Please hit the like, hit the subscribe, or welcome thoughts and comments. And I do respond, thank you. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch off one another, and uh, who is watching who? You watch the insurrection, you don't see people getting sprayed like they should have for climbing the walls of Congress and all the state capitol. But you be black in the wrong place or just be black in a certain area, and you get sprayed. Come out.